the learning that goes on in schools is wonderful and um, you know we've got a wonderful education system but I've always felt that as a geography teacher that there was something uh, there was a better way to do geography there's a better way to uh, give students an opportunity to connect with their world the global perspectives program here at Stelly's basically evolved over the last 14 years to what it is today um, today basically the kids will start in grade 11 and then in grade 12 they'll 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 do the uh, the global part of the of the course and learning by experience learning by doing and um, being in places and appreciating culture and so on
we call it Her Farm. We've given it its own logo, its own branding, and its own slogan, uh, which is Growing Hope in the Himalayas. But to those of us here at the Mountain Fund, it's always going to be Steli's Farm. I mean, you know, Steli's has been the driving force behind this place. If not for Steli's, it simply wouldn't exist. Um, and, you know, so to us, it's always going to be Steli's Farm. These past three weeks in Nepal have been um, some of the most memorable but yet foreign weeks I've ever had in my life. Um, it's incredible to walk in a place and feel so out of place and feel so different to everybody else. Walking around some of the temples, the Hindu temples and the Buddhist temples, you really feel like you are a stranger and, and that's something I've never experienced before and maybe it's because as North Americans, as Westerners, we're not um, as comfortable with their cultures or as um, aware of their cultures as we think we are and I think that's something that we can all learn from and we can go home and we can educate other people on. This Global Perspectives trip to Nepal it really helped increase my well-roundedness as a person in an international sense. Um, I found I really got to appreciate the difference in cultures that we have globally and it definitely made me appreciate how well we have it in North American society and all that we take for granted. I just think it's so crazy that the people in Nepal are so limited on their water and their food and just their daily life but um, the fact that they're so happy like no matter what they do like wherever you turn there's still people laughing and smiling even though like they don't have it as easy as we do at all. It's just incredible to see that. This trip really just helped me experience things that I wouldn't have experienced if I had done it on my own. Like for example, the trip to the homestay village at Patale, uh, I was not looking forward to it at all when we went and it ended up being one of my favorite things of the entire trip. So I just wouldn't have done that if I had been on my own. The trip left me with a newfound respect and appreciation for what I have back home and uh, opened my eyes to how the majority of the world really lives. Um, truly giving me a global perspective. After spending the past three weeks in Nepal, something I'm taking home is how simply they live here. They all have the bare minimum, but yet they're still so happy. And just back at home in Canada, it's insane how much we have and just how many unresolved issues we have. Here in Nepal, it's, they have so little, but it's just so raw and beautiful here. I really enjoyed it. This experience has helped shed light on our current health care system that we have today. We're so lucky to have easy access to the medicine we have. While in Nepal, there's people who are dying on the streets and they just can't afford the medicine. So in Canada, it's such an easy access to get to. And it's just sad to see that. My time in Nepal, I had such amazing experiences and one thing that I'll take back with me is that the Nepalis live such a simple life and they are happy and content with what they have which is close to nothing and back home we always need like all the newest stuff and like the newest gadgets and we feel like it's a necessity but I feel if we just live a simpler life it will be just as good as what we have now. What I have learned from my experience of going to Nepal is that both Canada and Nepal have many different positives and negatives and not to idealize one or the other because of what they have or don't have but just accept them both. I think this trip has been eye-opening. Uh, I have a new perspective uh, of everything we, t we take for granted like uh, power, uh, electricity, um, beds, housing, traffic, environment. It's just really opened my eyes of how grateful we really are living in Canada and you know, beautiful place. This year's Nepal trip has been amazing. It's really opened my eyes to the amount of opportunities we have back home as compared to the Nepali people and the struggles they go through every day. And we should really respect the privileges we have living back in Canada. My time in Nepal definitely opened my eyes to life in third world countries. And it made me realize that you don't necessarily need to have a lot to be happy. 
experience in Nepal has allowed me to achieve an enhanced appreciation for the aspects of life that often fall muffled by the expectation that they will always be there. And I found that until being placed in a situation where there, these things are removed, it can be difficult to fully understand the importance of a community and the attainment of happiness and less materialistic values. Nepal has offered us a new perspective on the matters of life that truly need cherishing. I feel that this trip has given me a greater understanding for how the Nepali people um, are required to live the same way from generations to generations. They pass on cultures and traditions and lifestyles, which is so different from how we live in Canada, where we don't have to live the same way as our parents. We can change jobs and careers. We don't have to do the same thing, which gives us huge opportunities to pursue whatever we feel like we want to. This trip has helped me discover a lot more about myself than I knew before, and I think the experiences we have will help tailor what choices I choose later on in life. During this trip, I've developed a greater appreciation for the life that I have and the things that I have, um, and this trip also inspires me to do more things like this to help um, people less fortunate than me. This trip has taught me to value um, what I have a lot more, and it's also taught me to live more simply. I feel like this trip has really allowed me to experience and understand the culture of Nepal and I am really grateful for that. The reason I took Global Perspectives was uh, to have an opportunity to make, uh, make my mother proud who, uh, who unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago and uh, having been on this trip I feel as if I would have done that which is an incredible opportunity. For a long time I've sort of wanted to live in a better way and do more to help people and I think the experiences I've had on this trip have definitely given me the motivation to do that. Nepal taught me a lesson in idealism in the sense that I thought we were going to go to Nepal and we were just going to like get a new perspective on how lucky we are and that's true but I feel like it also taught us a lesson in the sense that Canada is also imperfect. After seeing the high village top mountains in Manku, it just taught me really that it's the simple things that matter. I brought back new perspectives on our life here. I see different things differently as than I would before. And I don't know, I feel more humble to be around like all the stuff and I find I need less than what I did before because like, you can really live with less and be even more happy. Going to Nepal, I did expect um, foreign experiences and cultural differences. But I didn't expect coming back and just adjusting to the things back home that were routine before and I guess just appreciating what we had here and missing um, everything back in Nepal. This trip was a lot about overcoming challenges for me. Um, in these past few weeks I've definitely proved myself what I can accomplish with uh, teamwork and with something I believe in and I believe I'm taking home a little piece of everyone with me after this trip. The Nepali people, they're so happy with the little that they have. And uh, I think that in Canada, we think of too many things as necessities. And so I think that will be really beneficial for us to have that for the rest of our lives. Just know that you can be happy with uh, just a little bit, not a lot. On one hand, you want to appreciate everything that our society gives us. And like it definitely does give you a new appreciation for it, but it also um, causes you to reevaluate some of the things that are kind of pushed upon us in our society like I don't know going down to the store and buying a new outfit that you don't really need or getting the latest you know electronic device that isn't really necessary that they can live with without there and that we can definitely live with without here. From the start of this trip we got to learn all the different religions, the different cultures, um, but by the end of the trip right now I find myself thinking I know more about myself than I could have done all the years I've been going to school. Even before taking this trip, I've been pretty aware about the inequality in the world and how fortunate we are as Canadians, but uh, I never really knew kind of like what to do with it and, and how to make a change. And so I think the greatest thing Nepal has given me was the chance to uh, finally put my intentions into action and um, you know and just and see them through and so I, I'm so grateful for that and yeah I'm just I'm I'm incredibly uh, blessed that I got to go on Global Perspectives. I think it'll be the best part of my high school experience for sure.